Hey friends, you're watching Brainstorm Makers. I'm Henry. I'm down in the studio today to see if I can fix the electric system down here. Irene was using the kiln a couple of days ago. It was late in the day and the power went out. And we assumed that the batteries had gone down, but that wasn't the case. We had to be out of town yesterday for a bunch of different appointments. We came back. The solar panels charged the batteries up just beautifully. They got fully charged and still nothing at the inverter. Now what I did was to measure the voltage at the battery terminals here at the fuse block, first on the side of the batteries and then on the other side. I had voltage here, but no voltage there. That means that this fuse has been blown, and we'll talk more about that later. But right now, I need to go ahead and remove this cable from the system so that I can go ahead and change that fuse out. And the reason why I need to do that is if I try to change this fuse while there's still power coming from the batteries, there'll be a lot of sparks going on. There'll still be a spark when I hook up this cable when I'm all done but I don't want to have a lot of fireworks. Changing this fuse out is pretty easy. Well, at least in theory, it's pretty easy. I put this fuse in 14 years ago when I commissioned this system originally. Now, Irene's reported some problems with the electrical system, oh, for a little while. And the problem is, a lot of times you can't find the problem until it fails. Well, it never fails at a good time. Now when I felt this fuse when the system originally failed, it felt kind of warm. There's a cover on it, but the cover itself was warm. What can happen with these fuses, there's connection between this terminal of the fuse and that terminal of the fuse, and current flows through here. Well, I think what was going on was that this fuse was busy dying. And when Irene turned everything off, the fuse cooled down and it grew some dendrites. Those are little pieces of metal between the two sides. So I think what happened two days ago was that finally those dendrites gave up the ghost and the fuse failed completely. Well, I have a replacement fuse here. It's the same as the original one that died. It's going to be a little bit of a tight fit.
No. I didn't think so, but I just thought it asked. Put the washer back on and the lock washer. Do the same thing on the other side. Now, I bet some of you are wondering why that light didn't go out since there's no battery hookup. You ever wonder about that? Well, the answer is pretty simple. This is a 12 volt light, 12 volt light bulb. It's connected directly to the solar panel. So since it's daylight out right now, we have solar electricity powering that, that light, which is good. Now I get to see if my supposition works. Well, it looks like. And we get the lights on. <laughs> I tried to turn off everything I could, but I couldn't turn off everything. Everything's coming back on. <laughs> Well, that's all it took to fix this particular problem. That was a $34 fuse and 120 miles round trip. I had to go pick it up today because tomorrow is going to be Thanksgiving. And they're closed. They were closed last night when I discovered the problem, when I figured out what the problem was. So I couldn't do it then. Well, thanks for watching. Make sure you don't wear rings when you're working on this kind of electronics. Don't have your tools hanging around where they can short a battery. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hit the bell for notifications because I think I'm going to be doing some more electronics. Thanks for watching. We'll talk with you later. Bye. Ah! <laughs>